Hi, and welcome to C Programming for Arduino, a step-by-step guide. -step Before learning about preprocessor directives, let's discuss what happens when you press the upload button in order to shift your source code from computer's memory to Arduino board memory. Arduino IDE performs something called syntactic check to make sure what you wrote is actually a C source code. This is the point at which the compilation will halt in case you misspelled a function or forget a semicolon. After syntactic check, Arduino IDE starts another program called read processor. This is a very simple program that doesn't really care if the file is a C source code or not. Since we will talk more about this step later on, we will just assume that the result is a file called extended source code, which is just still our text file. Then the extended source code is handed over to another program called compiler. The compiler takes in text source and produces assembly file. This is a low programming language that is still human readable, but much more closer to machine code. It's basically just preprocessor specific instructions. This part is the reason why you have to select the correct Arduino board before you start compiling a sketch. Different boards have different processors, which in turn have different instruction sets. The next program that processed your sketch is called assembler. It generates an object file. This is mostly machine code, but it can also contain references to objects in other object files. This allows Arduino IDE to pre-compile some libraries that will always be used when writing Arduino sketch, making the whole process a lot faster. The final stage is called linking, and it's done by yet another program called linker. The linker takes the object file and adds everything that's missing to make it into an executable file. After this, the program is completely converted into machine code and can be programmed to the board. Now we have a basic idea of what really goes into compiling Arduino sketch. But out of all the compilation stages described above, we are going to only focus on the second one, the preprocessor. The preprocessor directive translates the directives you have written into your code with the Whatever you have designated to be the replacement. The preprocessor works by searching for lines that start with the hash sign and have some text after it. We will focus mainly on hash include, hash define, and conditional directives since these are the most useful on our Arduino. This is probably the best known preprocessor directive. The reason is simple it is used to include libraries. The exact syntax is as follows. The difference between the two is subtle and mainly comes down to where exactly the preprocessor searches for the file. In the first case, the preprocessor searches only in the directories specified by the IDE. In the second case, the preprocessor first looks through the folder containing the source and only if the file isn't there, it moves on the same directories it would search in the first case. Since the folder containing the libraries is specified in Arduino IDE, there is no major difference between the two when including a library. When the preprocessor finds the file, it simply copy pastes the contents into the source code in place of the hash include directory. However, if no such file can be found in any of the directories, it will raise a fatal error and stop the compilation. These are some standard C files used in C language. With the C programming language, the hash defined directive allows the definition of macros within your source code. These macro definitions allow constant values to be declared for use throughout your code. Macro definitions are not variables and cannot be changed by your program code like variables. You generally use this syntax when creating constants that represent numbers, strings, or expressions. The syntax for creating a constant using hash defined in the C language is written like this. This is the name of the constant. This is the value of the constant. This is the syntax in case constant is defined with expression. This is the expression whose value is assigned to the constant. The expression must be enclosed within the parentheses if it contains operators. Also, do not put a semicolon character at the end of hash defined statements. These are the examples. In this example, the constant named age would contain the value of 10. And in this example, the constant named age would also contain the value of in the C programming language, the hash if directive allows for conditional compilation. The preprocessor evaluates an expression provided with the hash if directive to determine if the subsequent code should be included in the compilation process. 
This is the syntax for the hash if directive in the C language. This is the expression that the preprocessor will evaluate to determine if the C source code that follows the hash if directive will be included into the final compiled application. Also note that the hash if directive must be closed by an hash and if directive. This is the example. Here a constant is defined using hash defined preprocessor directive. Here conditional statement is used to print this curve. This will be the output of this code. You can see that this conditional compilation ends with the hash and if directive. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.